Uh, I think it's time for an update because life has been, how do I put it, lifing. Life has been lifing a little too hard. I was a bit, you know, down, depressed in January. I was like, oh, I feel so lost. I'm searching for the meaning of life. And honestly, the universe really said, bitch, I'll give you something to be depressed about. The universe really said, you don't know where you're going. Well, trust me, you ain't going anywhere now because this is the situation. <laughs> not just being dramatic I have actually dislocated my knee and this is the mobility watch sexy right and this is what happens love left I do actually have a lot of mobility on my knee now this is the situation huns yeah my best friend sent me a voice note and she literally was like you know how people think they're the main character but they're not because she was like you're the main character and I don't know what season of life you're in but the writers really do be fucking with you and I agree I feel like I don't know, sometimes I think things have a meaning and sometimes you just get dealt some shitty cards and that's that. So today is my first day doing makeup and I feel like the first day leaving the house to go to an event, It's I'm in my third week, I'm halfway through the healing process and yeah, I thought we could just have a chit chat, I could feel a bit more normal today and tell you what's been going on, how I've been healing, the whole process. I know some people don't really care about injuries on my leg, I get that, but I actually found a lot of peace watching um, other people's knee dislocation vlogs, um, which I didn't even know was a genre on YouTube, but it makes sense because when you're going through something, I feel like we as humans search for people to relate to. So if anyone watching this has dislocated their knee, I feel you. Every single emotion and little pain, I get you, I feel you, I relate to you, and you're not alone because, oh my God, my mind has been running wild. Like when I first did it, I literally was like, I'm never, I'm never gonna be able to walk again. And I, I, it was just a blur. I will explain the whole, whole thing, how it happened. But if you are new here, my name is Sadie. Usually I do fashion, makeup, vlogs, loads of fun stuff, but today will be a bit different. Just me sat doing makeup because that's pretty much all I can do, but I am so grateful for that. that is one thing this has taught me to be a grateful bitch i am more more than happy and more than grateful that today i'm gonna be back to filming so yeah we're getting ready for a galentine's primark dinner i was like if a primark are inviting me to a dinner i can't miss it and it's at this beautiful venue in mayfair called bacchanalia it's like greek there's like a unicorn sculpture on the wall i was like please get me there and they've been so lovely i've got taxis i've got someone meet me on the other end there's a lift like we're about to turn up and there's girls i know there who i know will be really caring so yeah i'm excited to just feel like a normal person and not a little slug on the sofa for one day i'm wearing this like can you sort of see the material it's a pink check tweed blazer and matching shorts kind of like clueless vibes where i thought maybe something pinky i asked on instagram and you voted rose gold all right so let's get going my mom bless her she literally did all my washing reorganized all my drawers i didn't even realize she had to like take a week off work and come look after me i'm just using a really nice mac studio radiance like primer because i want to have all the good moisturized vibes for today um my skin i think has been reacting to the stress and i had eczema so bad but what if you have eczema i really recommend using cetraben products and they have an actual skincare line like for your face because my eczema was coming out on my face like not ideal right i like look i've got a broken leg it's not broken but I've got a damaged leg and I don't need eczema too, you know? I need you like a face cleanser and it feels so soothing. And then the moisturizer, I used it for two days and genuinely haven't had the eczema come back since. But I also haven't been wearing makeup. I was actually saying to Leon, like, it's never in my life have I not worn makeup for this long. Like, three weeks not wearing makeup. That's insane for me. For someone who used to work in makeup and does YouTube, it's, it's madness. So, hoping my skin enjoyed the little break and also i hadn't even been using like heat on my hair and it's actually got so long i've been using like rosemary oil in my scalp and then the gizu you know the neggins brand oil on, the, on my ends to try and help it be less dry but it's really weird you can kind of see the red has like started growing out loads so i'm hoping when i'm better i'm gonna maybe dye it or do something different just to like hopefully signal the new start of my life let's get a foundation on i'm going to use the kvd good apple foundation this one's got vitamin e but it's like a skin perfecting balm so it's a little bit more hydrating and it's really good coverage i use the shade light 015 and i kind of find it's easiest just to 
put it on with fingers and then buff it out. Also, I will be embracing my fair skin again in this video. I know all my fair skin babes love like makeup ideas because if you're a fake tan addict like me and then you go straight to being you know, fur and your natural pearl colour, it can be really daunting because you're like, oh my god, all the colours of makeup don't suit me anymore. But yeah, I'll be showing you what I do because I find like pinks and stuff, which perfect for Galentine's, look really good. Can you see how much that has just blanked out that whole side of my face? I love it. So easy to put on. I know people on TikTok used to use like way too much, so this you don't really need a lot to do. A lot you know so you can have it look very natural oh this is the cream i use guys cetraban i just found it love it love you right i think i need to go into what happened that night 22nd of jan it's my lucky you don't understand 22 is my lucky number i literally have 222 tattooed on me and i was so excited you don't understand i was so excited for the show to end i was gonna move on with my life i just it was my first drink like my first drink of january can you believe that i did dry jan didn't vape anything like i was so good i literally was on my yoga healthy queen oh that was the rimmel concealer but i will put everything i'm using i don't know if you've watched the show but yeah we went around to kelly's house and it was just all the girls in the final it was me kelly kaylee arise and we watched it on a projector and it was so fun to like just share that moment with the girls and we were just shouting at the screen like obviously i can't go into it but we were watching the boys speeches and let's just say not everyone was happy to rewatch it we were on cloud night we were like right we're going to monkey house we're going out in london let's live it up ashley came to meet us taylor came to meet us i was in my best life busting out all these moves i was wearing these like boot heels they weren't even high they were like you know chunky easy dancing boots oh my god i feel like this concealer has not helped it's made it look way too light this is like the ghostly vibes we need to get some bronzer up in here my trusty cream bronze monkey house finishes at like midnight and we're like well we don't want to you know end the night here of course not like it's our it's the finale like woo we were out with ashley and every time me kaylee and ashley get together it is just pure chaos like what i tell you we always go to gay bars we just live our best life and yeah it was always gonna end up in a gay bar we rock up to gay i'm ready to like pop my pussy to some ariana grande uh you know the drill and it was literally near the end of the night and i don't know why ashley was like let's go to the back like me and you let's go dance at the back obviously i'm down to keep dancing and i would love to know the song that was playing when i fell i would love to know i really hope it was something good and not something trash but i i'm so glad as well that i was so drunk when this happened because when i tell you this is one of my biggest fears like i hate hospitals i hate doctors i i am such a health anxiety freak like any little twinge in my body i'm like i'm dying like i um, do not deal with this kind of shit well because if i was sober i don't think i would have been able to deal with it like a cream blusher but yeah i'm glad because i have read some people say that it's like a pain worse than childbirth and shit like that and i don't think i could have handled it whereas i don't remember i don't remember if it hurt or not because i was so drunk and i think shock is a very crazy thing that happens to your body like when your body goes into shock all the adrenaline kicks in and it's like a natural painkiller because when i tell you i didn't feel shit i just remember dancing and i think i spun around like it was everyone keeps asking me what move was i doing as if i was doing something crazy it just happened randomly knee dislocation there is literally no way you can prevent it from happening because it happens when people are like just walking dancing is the most common one or sport or like it just popped out like i span i remember spinning and I felt it go and I just landed so nicely like on my bum with my legs out. I don't know if you want to see a pic. I'll show you a pic. Anyone who's queasy or doesn't want to see it, look away now. But yeah, my knee was in a different postcode. And I remember just looking at it and I didn't even cry. Like nothing. I just remember going like. <laughs> and Ashley came to help me up. And we both looked at each other and we were just like. Oh my god, this is happening right now in the middle of G-A-Y well the gays are like twerking in the back yo as she was like should i call an ambulance i was like yeah do you think we should probably but i didn't cry and then bless him i love him so much I, all i remember like literally all i remember is holding ashley's hand like this and i just shut my eyes and i just breathed and i just sat on the floor and then kelly came and she i like leant on her i had ashley's hand 
I was like this. Because every time I opened my eyes, there was like a crowd around me. The club lights were still going. This woman from the bar was telling me she's a paramedic. She was like, don't worry, babe. Like, I'm going to move you. One, two, three. And I remember just being like, do not touch me. Do not touch me. I don't care if you're a paramedic. Until I see that ambulance, I'm staying on this fucking cold, wet floor, okay? You know what? God bless the NHS because that ambulance, I've never seen an ambulance come so quick. Well, apparently it came quick. For me, time had stopped. And I kept it so cool, man. Like, I don't know how I did, but I did not cry until I saw them paramedics around me because I just knew the minute they came, it was going to be bad. Like, it's going to get real. I'm going to have to move. And they all, like, helped me up. They gave me gas and air. All my friends were like, can I have some? And they were just, they were not amused. They were like, please, all of you shut up. Like, you're all so drunk. you got to remember this was the end of the night. Like, we are drunk a lot. And I'm like, Shh, on this thing. And I was like, it's not fucking doing anything. It, and it obviously was. It obviously was because I'm going to show you videos. And then we're like, in the ambulance. Kelly, little angel of my life, she comes in the ambulance with me. And it must have worked because I was having a great time. I was like, laughing. I've never been in ambulance before. I was like, oh my god. God bless the NHS, like they were so lovely. We were like, we're on a show. So embarrassing, like I can't believe it. We were asking them what their star signs were. I said she was a cancer and I was like, okay, well because you're a water sign, like I know you're caring and I know you look after me. Like, why Why does it matter what star sign they are? You're, they're gonna help you no matter what. But I was like, yeah, I feel really safe with you because you're a cancer. <laughs> Kelly was like, if you wanted to get James' attention, you didn't need to act like this, like taking the piss. And Kelly kept going to the doctor. She was like, oh, tell her, like, she'll be fine, isn't it? She'll be walking in like a week. And the doctors were like, mm, probably not a week. I was going, I'm never going to be able to dance again. I'm never going to be able to wear heels again. I feel so sorry for these ambulance people. Like, it was scary. So we get to this hospital and I got to go straight into A&E. Um, even the doctor was like, you are so lucky, it's a really quiet day because otherwise you could be waiting for like five hours with your knee out. And again, I'm so grateful for the casino and for being drunk because I don't remember them clicking it back in, as in my mind's probably just blocked it out. But I remember her, she had her hand on it and I was just sobbing like this and she just did it and I didn't even watch. The doctors were like, you're okay, it's done. I was like, okay, it's done, like it's done. The relief I felt. And then they said that my eyelashes were falling off, so... I had to give the doctor who's probably trained like seven years to do this job uh, my dirty crying eyelashes for him to put in the bin. Yeah, so that was fun. I think the videos I posted, which I'll show, it seemed like I was out of it, but that gas and air, I did not realize how strong gas and air, so I'm gonna play the videos because they are ridiculous. Guys, I was called? just trying to be sexy. I was dancing and I was trying to dance. I was trying to be sexy and I fell and my knee popped out. <laughs> Look at it's my so face. Funny. No, baby, you're beautiful. <gasps> oh my god, Kelly, they took my eyelashes. <laughs> Where are your eyelashes? He was like. <laughs> Get out. No, my eyelash fell off and they were like, oh, your eyelash is falling off. And I was like, get them off and I pulled them off. And they just a sock. This doctor just put my eyelashes in the bin. <gasps> no, you're so beautiful. It's you're a so heartbroken bitch. Oh, I'm gonna take my lady to the hotel room. She's gonna slip and fall. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not even funny. Actually... It's not funny. It's not. <laughs> no, you handled it really well. What the fuck? What the right. Bear in mind, this doctor who was trained for years, <laughs> years of his life. He's gone to school for seven years. This poor doctor just picked my lashes up and was like, I can't laugh because it hurts my leg. Oh my god. Oh, don't, don't. We need to find your son. Kelly, they kept telling you to shut up. Do you remember? We were outside and she was like, You're going to be okay. And they were like, Shush. They're like, Can you shut up? Does that just make me feel better? Like, you'll be dancing in the Hills class in a couple of and days. She was like, You'll be back up in Hills class in a week. And she was like, won't, won't, won't she? And they were like, no. <laughs> they were like, nah, not, not in a week. No. I'm so proud but of you. I'm so proud of you. My knee. <laughs> no, but it's fine. It's not funny. Babe. My knee is not in So an update is um, the doctor is really fit. Why is he fit? Maybe this is fake. Maybe he's my future husband. I don't know. So I asked if they have a pink one, but apparently they don't. And the one time I wear odd socks, I go to hospital. <laughs> also, it is. Oh, I got my little blankie. 
Kelly's Cheers. Get Me Water. What yeah. a legend. Shake that thing. Miss done another shake that thing. I'm sorry, why am I singing Sean Paul? And the doctor, he was actually fit. I remember asking him, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is this? Of what you see in A&E, &E? and he was like, mm, nearly a 1. But me and Kelly were actually, like, in good spirits, considering they kept us in there for, like, 4 hours, and bless her for staying with me. The other, everyone else did come for a bit, but we had to tell them to go because they weren't allowed to see me, and I was like, what, you, we literally didn't get out of a and &E till 7am and I'm not gonna force my friends to wait. So they just put this massive brace on and then gave me crutches and was just like, yeah, be on your jolly way. Um, You're not gonna be able to walk for six weeks. So I was like, oh, okay, well, my life's over then. <laughs> so Kelly took me back to hers and I'm so lucky she did because I would have been on my, I couldn't have been on my own and I had, I was literally stuck at her house for like two days. It was like having a carer, I had to. I have to still, really. Like, I can't really do that many things on my own. I'm definitely getting, like, my independence and mobility back. But yeah, so I stay at Kelly's and we're absolutely delirious because the next day we all wake up and we're just so much adrenaline. We're all so tired, still hungover and having to deal with the fact that I can't walk. I remember being like, I'm going to go home today. And she was like, Sadie, like, you can't go home like this. And then my mom, my mom had to come to Kelly's and come and get me. Bless her. I had to wear like Kelly's pajamas home. I was like stinking up her bed, like oh, so horrible. We're like watching like Disney films all day, and then like we'd be like hysterically laughing, and then I would just like turn to her and be like, I just start crying. <laughs> Honestly, like no matter what happens, my whole life I will be grateful for her. I have the cutest little palette to try out today. Um, from Too Faced. I just got sent it. It's called Pinker Times Ahead. I think it's like their sort of Valentine's vibes. How pretty are all these colours? Oh, I'm so excited to do eyeshadow. I think when I came home, that's when the pain really started and I had to be like on coding and stuff. But pain-wise, with the brace on, it wasn't too bad. It was just like things I didn't even think of. Like it's hard to sit on a toilet with a straight leg and get everywhere and it took me a while to like get used to everything is like having having to have round the clock care because i can't like carry stuff i can't carry a plate from one room to the other so food has been the hardest thing because even now when i'm a bit better it's like i can open doors i can get up onto a bed easy because i've had the brace off now i've had my like hospital appointment they bent my leg and that was the scariest thing because you have to have your legs straight for like two weeks and then they just take the brace off you and they're like send you out into the world um, but my brother's been coming with me to the hospital appointments and I am lucky in London like I do have a lot of people here My mum had to go back to Bristol, but I've got like my stepdad and my brother and my obviously I live with my cousin And I feel so bad. He's had to do everything like when I say All the washing up all the cooking. It's like I said to him You're not gonna want kids after this are you because it's like a test run. That's a really pretty color I've had good days and bad days like some days are so fun. We've just been we found like a new love for games. Like I've loved Mario Kart and Crash Bandicoot and playing Mario Party. I got the Bratz game. So it's been like all nostalgic vibes, but there's been days where I'm just like waste of space and just really down and sort of overthinking every part of my life and just feeling lost. Like I haven't even, you know, been properly dressed. Like I've been struggling to get dressed. I've been struggling to even wash. Like all the things that make you feel like an independent human, I've not been able to do. And I literally was looking at myself in the mirror like, I don't even recognize you. But it's kind of added to that feeling of, I feel like I'm having a bit of a crisis. Like I'm, I'm not sure what I want in life. I absolutely love the juxtaposition of us having this deep chat while I'm just like doing my little girly pink eye shadow. This is really nicely pigmented though. A lot of things last year, I achieved a lot of goals that I wanted to achieve and I just don't feel like they made me as happy as I anticipated or like fulfilled as I anticipated. And I'm like, feel for the first time in a long time, um, after a new year's, very like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I think 27, I'm gonna be 27 literally in two weeks. And it's like that age where I'm not, I'm, st I'm still young, obviously, I'm in my 20s, but I'm like, okay, this is where shit is starting to get real. Like, I'm not just this young, fun, just running around London doing whatever. It's like, I don't know, it's starting to hit me. Do I want to find a partner, like a proper partner? Like, do I go traveling? Do I change careers? Do I, I, I don't know. I have all these questions and I don't know the right answer and I don't know which one to do. And it's just, I don't know, maybe the universe has 
made this happen to me, so I just sit down and fucking think and I'm trying to see like feeling lost is not a bad thing, but it's very hard. I'm someone that used to know myself very well. Like I used to be so like I wanna do this, 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 and now I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna be when I grow up. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna make me feel fulfilled and like at peace I guess and I feel like I I'm really relearning myself things I used to enjoy I don't enjoy anymore and things I used to do I don't want to do anymore um and things I used to say and be like I'm like this like my whole personality I feel not that it was fake but it was definitely amplified because I felt like I had to be a certain way, especially doing social media and YouTube. I really was like, I need to be this crazy, funny, sassy girl. And I do have parts of me that I like that. Like, I'm not saying I lied and pretended the whole time. I didn't. Like, I am those things. But I also am, like, trying to unearth, like, a side of me that's okay with being a bit shy, quiet and awkward, which I am. And that's, that's all right. Like, it is okay to be like that. And I want to just show up as my authentic self as you can imagine i am like spiraling a little bit i have been overthinking out of control Ooh, what colors do we do maybe i do the light pink in, in a corner yeah i just want to like i want to be happy because i even said like happiness is an emotion it's emotions are fleeting you don't feel happiness for long periods of time we don't we shouldn't feel sadness or anger or anything for a long long period of time you know you might feel it for a few days or a day or weeks or whatever you won't feel it for the rest of your life you won't feel just happy that's impossible but we're so scared of all emotions and we're not going to feel sad forever either and that's why we need to enjoy the good times when they're here and not be scared of the bad times because they won't be here forever either. So I'm trying to strive for contentment. That's my new thing. Not always every day Sadie's excited. Oh, I'm going to do the rose gold in the centre now. Not every day Sadie's excited and crazy and thrill seeking because I'm trying to find contentment where I just wake up every day and I feel like happy and content with myself and not like I'm seeking stuff all the time and I'm just being. But that's hard, okay? That is so hard. That's why I feel like I should go on like a buddhist retreat and like become a monk or something and just be one with nature i feel like i need to have like an awakening of some sort like if i feel like i'm on the brink of something happening but i don't know what the camera died but i just made the edges a little bit darker but i literally only used that palette and then i put the gold like in the center that color because it still makes it look rose gold but just give it a more pop i do a liquid liner just because i want a bit more sass today but yeah talking about feeling lost i know a lot of you relate to this and i'm like is that just how we're meant to feel in our 20s i don't know but it's a very weird uncomfortable feeling and i'm hoping it doesn't last forever but i feel like my whole life my like worth and my personality and like, my sense of self has been determined by other things like outside influences like i've always kind of lost myself in relationships which is embarrassing to admit this year is about admitting all the shit <laughs> and really owning up to stuff that I've done in the past that I'm like, you know, that wasn't great and my bad habits and yeah, I definitely lose myself in a relationship but I feel, I feel a lot of worth when I'm in a relationship because I feel a lot of love, right? And I think, sadly, I do base a lot of my worth on whether a guy loves me and that's not true or what I should be doing and um, that's why I'm trying to unlearn stuff like that and then also like jobs material things like I like to think if I just lost everything tomorrow like I lost being influencer I lost all my material things or all the things that I think make me me what would I be after that and the thing is you are still you without all those things like I want to have that sense of self where nothing can change it and I don't define myself by any of these things but it's hard not to like of course we're defined by like our jobs and our relationships and everything but I hope you're making sense of what I'm saying also on that note I've literally forgotten how to do a wing shit okay we can salvage it I went for my first walk yesterday and I saw a fit guy on crutches. Tell me that's not my future husband. It is. Why didn't he talk to me? Why didn't we laughed at each other, but like why didn't he be like, oh my god, like what's your number? Let's go for coffee and a cute crutch walk. Like I just want my romantic movie moment, you know? Oh, I'm gonna have to do this wing off camera because I'm gonna scream. We're getting there, Hans. We're getting there. Bit of mascara, the MAC one. I think I've not changed for like a year. Because it's so good. I do feel like this is giving my lashes, my hair, my skin a chance to thrive. 
while I have a little break from everything. And when I say like having a break, like I can barely, I can't really work, which is obviously scary financially. I'm trying not to get freaked out. I'm trying not to get anxiety about everything. Yeah, let me know if any of you have ever injured yourself and you know, felt depressed while you're healing or let me know if you resonate with the feeling lost in life and if there's any advice you can give me that would be amazing have you ever seen a blusher this cute in your whole damn life oh from Too Faced it's like very vintagey look the gold packaging and it has a little heart oh like the color is so stunning this one's called candy clouds oh I love it I feel like it's gonna be a bit too pink but I have to wear it like I physically have to oh it's still quite lightweight oh that's so pretty especially on fair skin too because sometimes orange blushes blushes can be a bit too much when i don't have fake tan on oh that is lovely just the right amount of pigment that you can build it up but it's not too much gorge and they also have a highlighter in their collection pinker times ahead now i'm trying to be positive and look forward so i know it's illegal to mention the hot girl summer word until you know like before April, but I'm gonna do it because it's the only thing keeping me going. <gasps> Whoa! I went in too hard, but that is pretty, that is literally like icy. What color is this? It's just called Pinker Times Ahead. You'll see it when I put on. It's like this really nice icy highlight, and it's still not too much if you do it lightly. Oh my god, I feel so happy. I literally love being a girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, this is so nice getting to play my makeup and like feel like me again. Lips. I'm gonna start with this Maybelline one, Dusty Rose, and then I like darken the edges with Whirl. But yeah, I'm looking forward for summer and just like having fun with my friends this year. I definitely wanna go to Ibiza with my friends because obviously last time I went with a boy, that situation will be updated on very, very soon. I'm not really allowed to say anything yet, you know, with TV, which I get, there's like contracts involved and new people are watching the show every day so it's like they want to keep things a secret for a little longer like that's absolutely fine I completely get it it's like what we signed up for but obviously it's hard not being able to like live my truth and like say everything that's happened but yeah I want to go with my friends I know they will love Ibiza and it'll just be chaos and I'm like just thanking the universe that this didn't happen to me at a time when it was the summer and I had loads going on like the only thing I had to cancel was my birthday which is fine you know because it was only in Manchester and I can go to Manchester whenever and we're just gonna do a nice meal in London. I'm gonna make the most of it. My friends are still gonna come and stay with me. So I have lots to look forward to. And then I'm just gonna go over with, well, what should I do with my hair? I definitely wanna curl it because I haven't used curlers in a month and a half. So I feel like it's gonna be fun. Like so. I need to find a lipstick and then do my hair. Maybe I'll do it off camera just because I know I've been talking for so long. So I'll be back in three, two, one. Woo! I'm ready. Sorry, I wish I could have filmed this for you. I just used like my extra long Mark Hill one because my hair's grown so much and I'm wearing my cute little Primark clueless outfit. Here is the finished makeup. Oh, let me know what you think. And I hope you've enjoyed this video even though I know it's like a bit of a weird one for me. Me just complaining, being depressing about life. You know how it is when you're a Pisces. One day you wake up and you're happy. One day you wake up and you're sad and that's just that's just life baby but i'm very excited to go up my event let me just try and show you my outfit and i've got a pink knee brace oh my god look oh my god i feel so cute and i feel like it's like is an outfit that's fine to wear with the braces like it braces with the crutches and look i have my nut matching knee like brace you knew i was gonna be this extra i literally just ordered it from amazon here is the outfit a bit closer up it's in primark at the moment i probably should have got a 12 on the top as it's a little bit um, small on my boobs, but I really like it. Oh shit, I really need to make sure I get that label off. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, Hans. Anyone who's struggling with feeling lost right now or an injury, we're gonna get through this and we'll be okay. I'll see you, Hans, very, very soon. Oh, wish me luck on my first night out.